Boom. Love it. What's up, guys? Welcome in with your pal, your friend, Mr. Knight. Five in, coming at you with another quick little clip. And before I begin my topic tonight, ladies and gentlemen, please, if you're watching this video right now, give it a like, a dislike, leave a comment in the comment section below. And if you really like it and you want to hear more content, please give me a subscribe. That would be great. I'd appreciate it. The topic I'm going to discuss tonight is pretty much one that's been out there for the last week or so. Um, cancel culture on Twitter being targeted by the far left lobbyist mob and the SJWs uh, that agree that if you don't see eye to eye on every topic 100%, no matter what it is, you're going to be targeted and you're going to be fired from your job like like uh, Hartler, uh, Hartley Sawyer from The Flash. He said some stuff in the past on Twitter. Uh, I read some of his tweets. Uh, I didn't really take them offensive, you know? I mean, tone of voice is something so important to me that I don't like texting. I think having a discussion and a, uh, a discussion and conversation over a phone uh, can really decipher what somebody's trying to say when they're trying to say it with tone of voice. Like I can say, God dang you guys! Or I can say, God dang you guys. You know what I mean? So, you know, everything with texting is always taken out of context, and it is, in my opinion... But, you know, there's there's other people in Hollywood that just want to keep riding the wave and or receiving the paycheck, which ain't wrong, that want to support this firing of this person off the TV show, The Flash, and they want to um, not be targeted. I really strongly believe that that's what's going, going on in Hollywood. You know what I mean? Uh, having a nice paycheck and being able to pay your bills and go do whatever you want to do or go buy whatever you want to buy might be a pretty cool thing, but on the flip side of that, on the other side of the coin, uh, having your privacy and your life taken away, uh, it, it's a pretty costly penny to me, and I think privacy and uh, being able to go out to eat without being hounded, without having your picture taken, there's no amount of money, in my opinion, that can make me change that. That's just me. Now, on another note, I'm going to kind of squirrel a little bit. Yo, I don't care me personally on what color you are, what sexual orientation you choose to uh, pursue in your life, what um, religious beliefs that you follow, or what president you like or dislike. Yo, I look at you with the size of your character and the greatness of your heart and the kindness that you want to contribute. That's how I look at a person. Try not to judge but at the same time, these are the kind of people I either choose or not choose to have in my life personally. You know what I mean? And it's out there. People are canceling things that they spew and cry and whine on about diversity and about having more women and equality with movies and TVs and film. They took off Gone with the Wind off HBO Max. And if you guys want to bitch about women filmmaking or women writing or women acting... This is the first movie made back in 1939 that the first African-American actor or actress was nominated and received a, an Academy Award. And her name was Harriet McDaniel. Harriet McDaniel won an Oscar for Best Supporting Actress for her portrayal of a housemaid in Gone with the Wind. Um, Margaret Mitchell is the one that wrote the movie that later got produced. Now, what do you guys got to say to that? I know you guys that are watching my channel might agree with me for the most part that, you know, uh, it's wrong with what they did. But then you got Elmer Fudd and then you got Samity Sam and then you have cartoon characters like, like Paw Patrol being ridiculed and being targeted because of, because of, because of law enforcement. You know, back in 2011, when we had the planes hit our buildings and hit our Pentagon, and hit our country, people came out and said, don't judge Muslims by the actions of a few. Well, don't judge police by the actions, ignorant, careless actions of a few. There are good people and bad people out in the world. We all know that. 
There are people out there that want to obtain power by oppression, by owning weapons and want to control. And there are people out there that want to own weapons to protect and have peace and protect their families, and they have every right to do that. It's two sides of a coin. It kind of just matters the way you look at it. And, you know, this country is just doing nothing but dissolving like sand when the ocean waves hit it, man. I mean, we are just falling apart. We are not united like we were. Granted, a lot of things that happened in the country 100 years ago, 50 years ago, were wrong. I don't support that. And the same things are happening today, and I don't agree with it either. Like I said, guys, you should be treated the same way I'm treated. If I'm pulled over by an officer, you should be treated the same way as well. We should all be looked at by the size of our heart and the judgment of one's character. And that's just kind of fading away. And that breaks my heart to where I don't know what to do. But simplicity kind of conquers all. Where simplistic thinking comes to my mind, all I can do is what I can do. And that is, in my opinion, every day that I live my life, is to be kind to any and all, no matter who you are. Say hello. Say, hey, man, how are you today? God bless you guys. Hope everything's well. Boy, your kids are growing up. Wow, this is really awesome. Not approach somebody in a store like they're the plague and, 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 and run away with them if they're in the same aisle as you. We have to stand up and be strong. We have to stand up and make our own YouTube videos and to really push the, 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 the true narrative out there is that people are people. And you know what? If I'm going to die because of COVID or if I'm going to die because I'm in my car or if I'm going to die because of the poor life choices and unhealthy things that people choose to do, then that is your choice. But granted again, guys, that doesn't mean that we have to stop being kind and honest and, and, and sweet to other people. We can all be kind, no matter what. And that's what I encourage you guys to do. Be kind. Say hello. Give somebody a kindness. You know what I mean? If you're in a convenience store, you know, and somebody's buying a soda pop, buy the soda pop for them. Say, hey, man, you know, I want to buy their soda pop just so they can pay it forward and, and, and show kindness. So we can keep that kind of momentum and that kind of way of thinking going. I think that's all I really have to say tonight, guys. God bless you all. I hope everybody continues to have fun. And as always, make it your day. Be kind out there, man. Show somebody a kindness. Make that your personal goal tomorrow. Give a kindness to somebody. That's all we can do to really fight this, man. Take care. We'll see you in the next video. Good night, guys.